Well, good morning. Happy Friday morning to you. Uh, we're going to conclude our series on the sacrament of the altar, as Martin Luther calls it, or Holy Communion, as we usually refer to it. One of the saddest things that I hear, normally from people who are brand new to church, is I'm not worthy to come forward for Holy Communion. Pastor, if you knew what my life was like, if you knew the things I'd done, you would know that I'm not worthy to come up and receive this gift. And I very pastorally say to him, of course you're not. Of course you're not worthy. I'm not worthy either. I mean, this is a gift that's given to us. In fact, it's given for what? For the very purpose of the forgiveness of sins. So in other words, this is the medicine. You might say this is the vaccine for our sinful condition. This is something that helps us to move forward with life. A lot of times the, the illustration I've used is taking out the trash. I mean, you've got to take out the trash. If you don't, it's going to start to smell. You've got to do it on a regular basis. Uh, and isn't it nice when the truck comes along and they, they dump your, you know, your thing of trash, your smelly trash into the truck and off they go and you've got a fresh start. Well, that's what Holy Communion is. It's people like you and me with a lot of smelly trash and the sins that we've committed coming to God and his forgiveness of us. And so we look at the last part of Luther's explanation, and it has to do with what it is to receive worthily. Listen to what he said. He writes, who then receives this sacrament worthily? Fasting and bodily preparation are in fact a fine external discipline. But a person who has faith in these words given for you and shed for you for the forgiveness of sin is worthy, really worthy and well prepared. However, a person who does not believe these words or doubts them is unworthy and unprepared because the words for you require truly believing hearts. And I think it goes back to that illustration of the person who wants to help you out of the burning building. You know, there's billowing black smoke. You can't see anything. Are you going to take their hand? Well, if you just take their hand, you're going to be ready and you're going to be prepared to be saved from that fire. And so in the same way as we trust that Jesus is present in the bread, even though it's hard for us to understand, as we trust that he comes to us through the wine of Holy Communion, we're going to be worthy. We're going to be ready to receive it and ready uh, to receive the salvation and the good news that it brings. And I don't know if you've ever done any fasting. Um, I don't do a lot of it. Uh, the one day of the year that I do fast is Good Friday. Every Good Friday, I allow myself coffee with cream. I learned that the hard way one year. I tried to lead worship uh, on, on Good Friday in the evening and just about collapsed. I'd had nothing to eat, nothing to drink. That's not smart. But I allowed myself coffee with cream. And that's all I consume during the day. And your stomach starts to rumble. It starts hurting. It makes you aware. It reminds you of the goodness of God's blessings of food. It reminds you uh, of, of who you are in the presence of God. And that's a good thing. But what Martin Luther is saying here is it does not earn you anything. Uh, it does not somehow make you worthy for communion. What makes you worthy for communion is being ready to take God's hand and say, yes, I trust that this is Jesus' real living presence. And as I trust it, I'm going to receive it and I'm going to get the benefits that come with it. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, remind us that all of us are unworthy to receive Holy Communion. And yet, Father, as we take your hand, as we trust the promise of your Son that this is his body and blood, we receive what we need. We receive strength for the journey. We receive new life. Father, bless us through this gift, the sacrament of the altar, Holy Communion, that we may always appreciate it and receive it with joy. We ask it in the name of the one who is our host, Jesus Christ the Lord. Amen. Well, God bless you and have a great weekend.